In this tutorial, we're going to go through creating a new SharePoint framework project using Node.js. Now, a new SharePoint framework, it's very exciting, um, it's all open source, and we use Node.js to um, manage all the packages um, and even test it using SharePoint Workbench. So to start off with, we're going to use Node Package Manager to install Yeoman and Gulp. These are two very important components and we can just install them with this one command line. Yeoman can be used to scaffold web apps, so it can pull in um, all the different plugins and frameworks that you need for a particular project. So it's very useful and we use that to do the SharePoint project. So this actually takes quite a while to uh, install, so I'm going to um, cut this video and edit it to make it a bit quicker for us. So you may get some warnings appear, um, deprecated services, and you can go through and fix those later if you want to. Any errors you have to fix. So we run this command line to install the Yeoman Microsoft Generator. So this is the generator for, for SharePoint uh, for SharePoint Web Park project. So that's installed now. And again, you might have errors there that you need to go through and fix. So in the folder where I want to create my project, I run this command line to create a new uh, Microsoft SharePoint project. So what's your solution name? So um, you can just put in what you want to call the solution there. You can change these afterwards, but it, sometimes it's a pain. Um, I'll just use the same folder and you can give your web part a name as well and a description. And then you can choose which JavaScript framework you want to use. And I've just decided not to use any framework there. So to test our solution that we've just created, so a new bank project, um, we can use gulp.js and that is a JavaScript task runner which will provide a workflow to build, compile, and optimize libraries and it will also let us refresh the changes in the browser. So to run that we just type gulp space serve and that will open up the SharePoint workbench. So this is again local, locally hosted um, server so you don't need a tenancy. You can see my test web parts there and I can add it to the page and see what it looks like. So it's a great way to test them. It's a much quicker process than using Visual Studio. What you can use is Visual Studio Code, which is just like Notepad++. It's a text editor, it's free to download, and that's probably the best way to actually edit these projects. Hope you found that useful, and please feel free to check out our website for some of the SharePoint and Office 365 services that we offer.